All right, in today's Can You Relate, everyone should know the basics of CPR. I took CPR years ago, and I'm so glad we're doing this today. I need a refresher for sure. The first aid skill can help you save a life. All you need, your two hands right here. Yeah. Joining us live is Linda Medford. She is with the Red Cross, and we've been grilling you with questions <laughs> because it's been so long since I took a course. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I mean, probably seven years yeah. ago. And when you had to do, like, the, the mouth and then the compression, but things have changed, so... Linda, why is it so important for people to be ready to go and up to date on this? Well, there are over 350,000 cardiac events that happen outside of a hospital every wow, year. Wow. And we want to we want to empower bystanders to be able to know what to do mm -hmm. in in the event that that happens. And and what we're teaching now is uh, we still teach the full blown CPR course, but we offer a free program that's called hands only CPR because the chest compressions alone have been documented to help increase survival rate. Your greatest your greatest chance is with the compressions right. okay right. so you don't even worry about breathing into the mouth anymore so where do you so. put your hands what do you do so so what you're going to do is you're going to kneel next to the person okay. and you're going to take the heel of one hand and place it in the center of the chest okay now on on a, on a male that would be uh, in the middle of the breast line on a female you would f locate the breastbone and go two fingers above that two fingers yeah. above the breastbone for a female okay right. and then you're going to take the heel of your hand mm -hmm. you're going to interlace your fingers right. on top mm -hmm. you're going to lock your arms and you're going to position your shoulders above, over your arms. So kind of up over. Yeah, mm -hmm. if we were on a higher surface, yeah. we could do it. But you want to get yeah. your weight into this, right? Yeah, you want to get your this, weight right? into it, okay. right? Because the, um, the purpose of the compressions is to get the blood flowing into the heart. And so you've got to be able to compress at least two inches on an adult. Okay. Go down. D down, right. to yes. get back okay. Two okay. inches. So, so one, two, three, four. And that's taking five, some effort six, right there. Seven. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, now, now what are you be, counting to? Yeah. So, so we, you just you count to thirty, or you count, or you you count a hundred to a hundred and twenty uh, compressions per minute. Okay. Is that still the staying alive? Yeah. Staying yes. alive. That's okay. Alive. Okay. Staying that's alive. how I remember yes. it too. Yes. So it's like to the beat of that song. Yeah. Right. So right. staying alive. Right. Staying alive. Right. Uh, 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 that's uh, about the path. Yeah. Okay. And, and if you're the only one there, like the it is going to be exhausting. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, if you have a bystander that can help you, you can you'll alternate every two minutes. Okay. Because it is, like you said, very exhausting. Can you do it again for us? Yeah. Yes. Because just so folks can see. Okay. So you're kind of above the breastbone for a woman and right, right across the top of the chest for a man. Right. And you, you heel of your hand, interlace your fingers, and you just put the full force of your body against it. You allow yeah. the chest to come back up mm -hmm. before you press back down. But you continue with that until help arrives. Mm -hmm. right. And the first thing to do is call 911 immediately, right? right? But so, if you have to do this for, let's just say, 15 minutes, that is going to be exhausting. Yes, and that's is. where, if you're by yourself, use your body weight to do it. And right. if with the person, you have to swap out because it's exhausting for the person doing it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. it is. So what we, what we cover is check, call, care. Okay. You're going to check the scene, make sure it's safe. You're going to check the person and try to get their attention, mm -hmm. get them awake. And if they're not breathing, then you're going to start the chest compressions. That's okay. the care piece. Um, but but before you start, you're going to call 911. Check, right. call, call, care. 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 Okay. And, and if you're calling 911, you're the only one there. Put your phone on speaker and lay it down mm -hmm. and talk to the person while, while you're, you're doing, doing it. it. Okay. Oh my okay. gosh. Isn't it uh, amazing what adrenaline can kick in? Yes. I mean, and sometimes you just know <laughs> what to do. But those refresher courses are so good. Folks can sign up. How would they go about taking a CPR class from Red Cross? So a full-blown CPR class, you can go to redcross.org, mm -hmm. click the training tab, and you can plug in your zip code and you can find a, a class near you. Local class, yes. okay. And then a local uh, chapter office called 1-800-RED-CROSS, and we can set you up for a hands-only training this okay. for free. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. You also wanted to mention about sound the alarm. What is that and uh, yes. how does that benefit Red Cross? So we, it is one of our preparedness programs for the communities to help build resiliency and preparedness in home fires. Mm -hmm. So we have May 14th and May 21st here in Oklahoma. We have our annual sound the alarm events. May 14th is in Tulsa. May 21st is here in Oklahoma City. We're going to be installing free smoke alarms. We're go. partnering with the fire department and local community partners um, installing up to three smoke alarms per home for free. Oh, wow. These are 10-year alarms with a 10-year battery, so you don't have to worry about nice. that battery. Yeah. And we cover a fire escape plan, a fire safety checklist, mm -hmm. and an additional hazard such as tornadoes or power outages and things like that. We'll have to do more on I that know. when it comes up. That's yes. a good reminder. Thanks, yes. Linda, so much for coming in. You are a true pro, and you kind of motivated us to really make sure we got it down how to do CPR. Oh, Absolutely. Man. And I got to sing Staying Alive. There you go. <laughs> All right, back after this. Stay with us. One more time, Lacey. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> Staying Alive. Stay